Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Newsroom. I'm Chelsea Smith with your Middle East U.S. Entertainment News. I air on Fridays. This is subject to change. I bring you the latest on reforms and economics of Iraq based on reports put out by the Middle East news media outlets. I do this weekly review and it's based off my interest. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. We talked about the withdrawal of coalitions, U.S. embassy explosions at the airport, Iraq's budget, the dollar exchange rate in parallel markets, the public sector, my account projects, and we also talked about the U.S. energy information administration. Let's take a look at headlines. Iraq's oil ministry, Hayyan Abdul Ghani, met with U.S. oil industry's executives during his visit to the U.S. This meeting focused on infrastructure development, gas investment optimization, BP's development programs in Iraq's oil fields, the KBRs, sustainable technology, the ARCs, energy exploration, blocks, Alexandra's refinery plan, Hunt's oil efforts and honey whales, prospects for energy and refining cooperations. And speaking about al-Sudani and the meeting in the United States, Prime Minister al-Sudani will lead the high-level government delegation to New York for United Nations General Assembly meeting, where Iraq will address and meet with world leaders. The International Conference on Payments and Banking Technologies was held back in Baghdad on September 14th and 15th. Their focus was on the role of government, central banks, and association of banks in supporting digital transformation in Iraq. This conference was discussing 16 accesses, including development payments, improving financial inclusion, establishing digital banks, using artificial intelligence, and combating money laundering and bank fraud. This conference aimed to bridge the technical gap between between Iraq and other countries in this field. And after that conference, the central bank governor, Ali Alalak, has highlighted the role of electronic payment systems with enhancing anti-money laundering compliance in the country. He also emphasized the importance of compliance rules in combating money laundering and safely of banking operations for societies, the economy, and international and internal banking relations. The central bank governor, Ali al also confirmed that the number of applications for digital banking in Iraq exceeded 70, highlighting the widespread use of digital banks and their annual volume from 5 to $7 trillion. The central bank is currently studying applications and maintaining communications with external and internal parties. And Iraq's electronic transactions in August surpassed 1.5 billion with 20 million cards issued and 30,000 electronic payment devices. The figure is expected to double in the coming months, enhancing financial and commercial transactions. Economic expert Abdul Rahman al Sheikhli predicts a development road through 12 Iraqi governorates, transferring Iraq to global stages, offering investment opportunities, and attracting the Iraqi workforce, reflecting the country's shift from reentry economy to market systems. And the Iraqi Central Bank has transitioned to direct banking relations with correspondent banks, aiming to enhance transparency and compliance with international laws. Thank God. This move could facilitate faster and move flexible transfers, reduce remittance costs, and boost international confidence in the Iraqi banking system. However, it could also increase compliance risk complicated banking operations, and impact monetary policy. This transition is being negotiated with the U.S. Federal Reserves with financial decisions expected to require a balance of benefits and risk impacting the Iraqi economy and international relations. The Kurdish delegation from the Kurdistan region's Ministry of Finance had arrived in Baghdad discussing salary files and retirees. The delegation held meetings with the Federal Ministry of Finance discussing the applications of the federal pension law and the distribution of monthly salaries for employees and the public sector workers in this region. And Iraq is moving forward little bit by little bit each day, the oil production distribution company in Baghdad has confirmed that electronic payment accounts for 65% of its revenues with plans to generalize it in all governorates. The company is working on enhancing electronic payment files and implementing it in all fuel purchases. And gold prices reached a historical peak in trading, reaching 2,616.1 per ounce, aimed at decline in the dollar index and the U.S. interest rate reduction expectations. 
Prime Minister Mohammed Shia Sudani has discussed digital transformations in Iraq with Apple delegations. This meeting highlighted the importance of rising digital capabilities, expanding job opportunities, and implementing government programs. Apple delegation proposed registering phones in Iraq at competitive prices, supporting digital transformations. Iraq Central Bank Governor Ali Alalak has announced that all remittances will undergo audits. Starting the low oil prices is not linked to high dollar exchange rates. He emphasizes that the central bank provides the dollar at its official price for the legitimate activities and requests. Germany's director of German Agency for International Cooperation in Iraq, Christopher Flotcher, confirms Iraq's progress towards economic stability, emphasizing the need for modern tax laws and supporting stable institutions through joint cooperations between the Iraqi and German governments. For more details regarding these articles, you can find them with the Tier 1 pledges, only on Patreon. Parliamentary Finance Committee heads to visit Herbal to discuss non-oil revenues and consolidate understandings between the Ministerial Council of Economy and the Kurdistan Regional Government. Delays in salary treatments in the Kurdistan continues despite the numerous meetings between these two parties. And lastly, the global central banks are embarking on a journey of monetary easing, which is a significant step in reducing the monetary pressure on global economies. The U.S. Federal Reserve has cut federal rates by 50 basis points, marking the first cut since March of 2020. This has led to central banks in the Arab Gulf states reducing interest rates, aimed at expectations of further monetary easing. The discussion to lower interest rates means more money will be pumped into the U.S. and global markets, especially as the dollar is a global payment, trade, and investment currency. Lowering interest rates under the current U.S. economy conditions will be positive for investors. And you've been watching Newsroom Weekly Review. I'm Charles Smith with your Middle East, U.S. entertainment news on reforms and economics of Iraq. I bring you the latest in our news without having to keep up with all the different outlets. I'm here every day with Newsroom Charles Smith Plus, and we're here every Friday for the free weekly review marathon on YouTube. All of our missed shows within this last month. If you like our content, you can always share with your family, friends, and even in those special groups you're in. If you really like our content, you can always give us a friendly comment in the comment section below. Again, thank you for being a subscriber and thank you for visiting Newsroom Charles Smith for your trusted in our news. We'll see you. Take care. Make sure you join us Fridays, 4 p.m. with Newsroom Updates with Charles Smith Entertainment News. 